Wodies, dozens, what up? It's Dizzle here. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed the last episode we gave y'all with the WWE Divas Dimeous to Dimes tournament. And I most certainly hope y'all enjoyed us bringing in Mama Benjamin uh, for the last part of that episode. Now, uh, that last section of that episode was heavily edited uh, to make sure everything fit in. We didn't want to keep y'all too long in the episode, but I decided that y'all needed to and deserved to hear uh, the full interview uh, with Mama Benjamin, a.k.a. Thea Vidal. Um, so yeah, so here it is, the full interview from Thea Vidal uh, from the Way Back When slash Let Me Tell You Why You're Wrong podcast tag team mashup. Y'all enjoy. Oh, there we go. Here's who we <laughs> forgot. All right, just, just had a question. Oh, uh, yeah. Here's who we forgot. Mama Benjamin. Oh, uh, Thea? Yeah? Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you now. Can you see me? Yes, we can see you. <laughs> <laughs> my son and my nephew help me because I have no tech-savvy shit. I'm dumb. Um, when it comes to this technology shit, I just Man. do not. My le- Where are you going? I'm, okay. okay. Um, how are you? I'm good, Anthea. How you doing? I'm all right. Good. L- listeners, listeners. Here. So listeners, just to give y'all a heads up, um, Mama Benjamin is, is now in the house on the podcast way back oh, when, yeah. and let me tell you why you're wrong. Shelton Benjamin's mama. <laughs> <laughs> A.K.A. Yes, A.K.A. my Aunt Thea. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> How are you guys? Oh, I'm great. I'm doing oh, we're great. We're good. We're good. So, and, and um, are you in your car? Yeah. I, 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 yes, yeah. I, I am yeah. in my car. Yeah. yeah. Uh, both of y'all in your car. Why are you hiding from your wives or something? <laughs> yes, and children. Yeah. And so, let me tell you something, baby. Let me say, how old are your children? 10, 8, 5, and 2. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. It's, it sucks to be you. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me, let, let me, I'm sorry. <laughs> and the, gen, the other gentleman, do you have children too? No, ma'am, I have two puppies. And that's a good thing because you can always <laughs> put them outside. You can't put a child outside. People will call exactly. on you. <laughs> Officer, there's a man that had run his children in the backyard and he hasn't come and got them yet. <laughs> they will call on you. Um, <laughs> wait, uh, wait, let me just make you. I don't know your name. Can you tell me your name? I'm Egypt. I'm Derek. You're, you're who? One is Derek, and who is who? EJ. DJ. Let me just e. say this to you. EJ. EJ. Anthea. EJ. Okay, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> Auntie can't hear everything. You know, Adrian, I, you ain't too big to get your ass whooped. See, don't I, 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 that's <laughs> what I knew. I knew as soon as I said that, I was like, oh, shit. Let me shut up. <laughs> You're not never too big to get your ass whooped. Yes, Let ma'am. Me, I was going to say something, but I'm going to tell you about Adrian. When Adrian was about four or five, we were all in the mall. And Adrian has this thing where he likes to run. He'll run off. And I grabbed Adrian and I told Adrian, I said, hey, don't do that. He told me that you can't tell me what to do. I tell my mama, I said, I'll whoop your mama's ass. What's wrong with you? <laughs> and so then, and I, when he told me, you can't tell me what to do, my two boys, Adam and Sergio, looked down at him and stepped back. Like, I don't know why you had to bring that up. I don't know why you said that, but you were fucking up for everybody. <laughs> Andrew was spoiled, but he was a cute little running little boy. I don't know. Anyway, 
and then you giving up my government name on here. I'm Dizzle on here. Make, <laughs> I'm, I'm hard on here. How come you didn't text me? You was Dizzle. What the fuck? I'm psychic. I'm psychic now, Adrian. My bad. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. <laughs> well, uh, I'm the amazing Kreskin. I can see things. I'm an 800 number for psychic ESP stuff. I didn't know you was that. Your mama ain't say shit to me about Dizzle. She didn't say nothing to me about no damn Dizzle. But if you want to be called Dizzle, Auntie will call you Dizzle. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just on here. You can, once we hang up, we can go back to call me Adrian. How about that? I'm going to call you Dizzle. That's what you do. I'm going to call my, I'm going to get my children and tell them Adrian don't want to be called uh, Adrian. He won't call Dizzle. And he also want that on his check. Let's see how fast you cash that motherfucker. Dizzle. Dizzle. Um, you know what? Uh, you look so professional behind the mic, Dizzle. <laughs> Thank you. That's my aim I'm going for, at least. <laughs> I mean, um, I, I, um, to, the, to the gentleman that has the four children, let me tell you something. Right now, you probably sneaking and eating in the bathroom and locking the door in your closet and stuff just to eat a piece of gum. That will continue for oh, a long yeah. time. Oh, if you man. have boys, their friends is greedy. Do oh, not yeah, be got... the Kool Aid House. Do not be the Kool Aid House. Don't do that. Oh, no. Don't do that. Oh no, I already know. <laughs> I went to Kool Aid House. It's not funny. It's not. <laughs> My son brought all kind of football players up in there eating eating um uh Captain Crunch out the Pyrex bowl. <laughs> you know, you know, no. I had to say one day, if I didn't fuck your daddy and you didn't come out of me, you got to get out of my house. <laughs> I, I had to say that because they were getting too much. They was in like a horde of locusts and shit. <laughs> it looked like a horde of locusts. I just felt like getting a towel and beating everybody just to kill the locusts so they would go away. Um, I can't do your age anymore. I have grandchildren now. Mm. I have 16, 15, 16, 14, 12, 10, and 8. Yeah. Mm. And they don't mess with me. <laughs> Did you make them clean the kitchen? They gonna clean the kitchen before they leave here. They best know it. <laughs> Their Uncle Adam is ordering water burgers to be delivered. I see how spoiled they are. They just spoiled. My grandchildren are spoiled. <laughs> I can't even watch TV in the living room because they got the goddamn game on there. I don't know what that game. They tried to play Mortal Kombat, uh, I don't know, point oh point three. I don't know what it is. Uh-huh. Oh, Mortal Kombat X. I don't play with them because they keep chopping my head off. I think they're trying to tell me something. <laughs> and they especially like when their character says, finish her. You know, that's not good. That's not nice. That's not how you treat the lady that buys you cookies and shit. That's not how you treat me. You don't say, you don't say finish me when I take you to the Circle K. You don't say that. <laughs> With your ratchet selves. No, they're going to clean the, I don't know what they did in Medea's bathroom, but she said the floor is black. I don't know what that means. I don't. They've been in there with them dirty tennis shoes. They think I'm playing with them. Jesus will come get somebody today. <laughs> so what do you want to know about Shelton Benjamin? Y'all forgot about that, didn't you? <laughs> don't let me get to clowning. Anyway... I'm like this all the time. Adrian can attest to that. He is such a sweet, I can't say sweet boy. He's always a sweet, oh God. Dizzle was all that, all that when he was young. He'd be up in the club and shit, sucking on arm pops. He was a good and youngin'. Is that better? Yeah, there you go. I'm going to put that in my Wikipedia bio. 
Okay, yeah. <laughs> this was all of that. <laughs> Some pop blower. <laughs> that sounds not. Yeah. I don't know what that sounds like. Anyway, that that, we, we, we had a discussion about this earlier. We had a discussion about this earlier, and I'm not equating yeah. it to Little Wayne this time. Not equating <laughs> it to Little Wayne this time. <laughs> now I missed the Little Wayne mention. Um, I don't like him. You don't like Little Wayne? No. Why is that? I'm with you. I'm, I'm with you. I don't care for him. He <laughs> says stuff that's not necessary. And he's very, 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 he may be very, very rich, very, very wealthy, but that is the ugliest little gremlin I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> he got too much shit right. in his mouth. His pants are down by his knees. And I hope none of you young men that I'm that are on this podcast are wearing their pants sagging and shit. That is unattractive. <laughs> My pants you are know, don't a woman yeah, want yeah. no soft ass <laughs> bitch ass sagging deuce skinny be wearing bastard. Don't nobody want that. <laughs> don't nobody want that. I don't wear underwear, so I can't sag. Well, do your pants be up? Yeah, well, they have to be. Otherwise, I'd be, get arrested for indecent exposure. Exactly. You got a belt on your jeans and shit. Don't nobody have to see your dick till it cut necessary. <laughs> <laughs> then you're a superhero. Superhero. <laughs> You ain't got to pull no dolls out, mama. I'm here. <laughs> I'm already here. I'm ready. <laughs> I will finish you. <laughs> um, that's interesting that you felt compelled to tell me that you didn't wear underwear. You are you way know, too it, young it, for me. I, it, I will hurt word you. Vomit. It is 100% word vomit. I, I don't know what it like. It comes out of my mouth, and I don't know what to say. It, it, are you married yet? Yes, I am. I am. I'm, I'm married. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, your wife just looks at you a lot and says, "Why don't you shut up?" Why don't you, <laughs> 100%. I, you she goes, I think the most the phrase that my wife used the most is she goes, "Well, at least you're pretty." She, she <laughs> says that to me on a daily basis. On a oh, daily yeah. basis. You, she just she just look at you going. Thank God you pretty. God, I, if you didn't, I lied. You are pretty. If you didn't have a dick always on call, I swear to God I'd leave you. There are some women who think like that, though. There are women that think like that. <laughs> Many of my girlfriends have said, you know, I said, what well, if, if he did if he's an asshole, why don't you just leave him? Dick too good. I can't leave it. I can't leave the dick too good. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep the dick on dial. I just yeah. <laughs> dick and the drug man. That's all. The weed man and the dick. That's what you gotta keep on. Yeah, that's the first two calls. I call on Jesus by myself, but I call on you know, men. You don't know how special you are to us. Men do not know how special you are to us. When we're in love with you, you are the best thing since sliced bread. Even mm. when you fart, we just think you're wonderful. Because we love you that deeply. Because women love you that deeply. Men don't get that. And then when you cheat on us, we know. Because we love you so deeply. We're investigators. Don't make us be, don't make us be Columbo. Don't make us do that. <laughs> no, don't make us get don't make us get the girls together and have a powwow. Don't make us do that. Because if we had a powwow, you in trouble. <laughs> Cause somebody watching you. If you got five girlfriends, you got a bitch that's always somewhere. <laughs> All right. And then give us give us a give us a wrestling story. Do you have do you have a, a special wrestling story you could tell us? Or something, maybe oh, something yes. about Sheldon Benjamin? Okay, th- when I when I first got it, got to work with Shelton Benjamin, I knew that there was another lady at the arena in Jersey, and she was auditioning for the part of Shelton Benjamin's mama too. Mm-hmm. So, the one thing that she didn't know is that I was a, an actress. She didn't recognize me. And that's the way I wanted it because I plaited my hair up and put a mole on my face and everything. And I told, met this man and I said, give me your belt. And he took his belt off and I rolled it up and put it in my bra. So when I did the audition, 
I was in Jersey at the getting ready to be in the match. Mm-hmm. We were going to do the match. And I put I pulled that, that belt out my bra. And I said, you going to win or I'm going to help you win. <laughs> and I pulled that belt out. And they busted out laughing and said, you're it. Yeah, it was fun. The, the, the best fun I had was when I had the heart attack, oh, and yeah. I fell out. <laughs> I fell out, and um, you know, you, I had my muumu on, and my muumu went up, and so I was laying there, and I was like, "Pull my dress down! Pull my dress down!" <laughs> I was putting it through my teeth. I said, "Cause my mama gonna see this. My dress is up. Pull it down." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The fact that I got to hit a wrestler with a brick in the head, that was fun. Yeah. I have never beat on so many white men in my life and not gone to jail. I have never seen men that can pick me up and not hurt their back. <laughs> so, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. One time we were having our dinner break. Big Show, he really is, he is huge. Okay, this is what Big Show tell me. Hey, I got five filet mignons. You want one? Because if you don't, I'll just eat all five of them. (laughs) (laughs) And I looked at him like, you don't have no home training, do you? (laughs) You don't eat all five of them. You're going to eat all five of them. You don't give a shit. You're just going to eat them. (laughs) And he looked at me and said, yeah, I can eat five. Actually, I can eat more. I said, give me one of them fillets. You ain't going to eat five fillets today, you big bass at you. <laughs> they were very gracious and very kind to me, and they had never had a woman like me on their show. Yeah. Please. And Vince McMahon, let me just say this, if any women are out there listening, that body, that body is something else. I ain't gonna lie to you. That body is something else. Shit. Mm-mm. Come on, Vince was, Vince was stacking. Vince's body is chiseled. It's hard. And I was scratching with my long nails. And we just kept taking, doing take after take. And I kept wondering why we keep doing take after take. I mean, we did it already. He goes, and then he kept pulling his pants lower. And I kind of got a kick out of it. He said, because you don't know me. I'll handle you. I said, no, you'll fuck around and get handled. <laughs> I will do you. <laughs> you be talking about chocolate all night long when I get through with you. I ain't no easy win. If it's like, man, his body is something to behold, though. I don't know what he's doing, but I know his body is something else. <laughs> It is. Well, so is. Vince wins the dimiest of dudes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dang it. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. That man, let me tell you something. For his, I mean, I'm not just saying for his age. His body is that of somebody very young. And it's big and pumped up and juicy. And that booty is something to, I mean, you could bounce a quarter off of it. <laughs> okay. <You know? laughs> Okay, wait. Okay, I got. I'll tell you one more story. Okay, we went to we went to a wellness meeting with all the suits, right? Mm-hmm. So um, they're they're talking and you know talking about what they don't want if they if we catch you, we're gonna do alcohol treat uh, testing and and drug testing, and it's like, how would you test somebody for alcohol blowing the vent? Why would you do that? Why would somebody come here drunk? Because you got to jump up and stuff. (laughs) And I said, excuse me, and I raised my hand up, and Vince McMahon and Johnny Ace looked at me and just shook their head, because they knew I was going to ask They knew something was going to come out of my mouth. So I said, if you have a legal marijuana card does that counts because it's legal and it's been prescribed, right? So then I said, you said illegal. I ain't had any legal. I'm asking you <laughs> if I have a pharmacy card to get the marijuana. Yeah. I live in LA. Uh, hey, does that count? They said, do you have cancer? I said, well, I got to have fucking cancer. <laughs> I got some other shit. Why you got to bring up cancer? What that mean? 
And I, they said, and they started looking at me and they just kind of chuckled and laughed. Then one of the other wrestlers said, why you got to bring up ju- drugs? I said, bitch, you the ones that got caught popped with cocaine in your system, not me. Drugs <laughs> <laughs> test me, dumbass. Then the other wrestler asked me, where do you get a marijuana card? I said, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's... <laughs> I miss being on the WWE. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. They're cool people. That's the awesome, divas man. are cool. You wouldn't think girls smelt that bad, but you know, what can I say? <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> whoa, whoa, we're talking. No. Oh, no, no. Oh, they're beautiful women, but you know, hey. Hey, wait till everybody leave then shit. Don't come in here, blow it up, and then leave us all in here with it. <laughs> what kind of foolishness is this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I made it my business to go to the, to the public restroom and do that. I didn't do that in the in where we were all sharing a community thing. No, I didn't do that because that's wrong. Well, that's part of the rule. Um, whenever you're on the tour bus, whenever you're uh, on location. You don't shit in the the, the trailer. No, never, you, never. You go out to the porta potty, or you shit on the you know at the gas station. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the right thing to do. Yeah, that's the right thing to do. You Act have like to you have got some, some home training. Yeah. Home yeah. training. Let me tell you, because that's scary. Because so you wait, know wait, everybody wait. knows I, you I, did it. I have one question. Yes. Are you really Shelton Benjamin's mom? <laughs> Biologically. Yes. No, I am not. Oh, that that just ruins the story for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, boo boo. Uh, they, they they call me a mark. They call me a mark because I believe everything in wrestling is true. <laughs> you like my children? They was that same way when I was on there. Now let me let's <laughs> be honest. Come here, they put need, pop. They need you to come back though, so that way maybe he can get back. Maybe he can get back on TV if you come back. <laughs> I don't know if Sheldon is up for that. Because Sheldon's kind of intimidated by me a little bit. I'm sweet. I wouldn't hurt him. I wouldn't hurt him. I love your tattoos. Anyway, yeah, I wouldn't, I mean, I love Sheldon. I, he, we just had, we never got to a real understanding of each other. And, that, and, and that's sad because I really did like him. But no. he was the best athlete out of all of them. Yeah, sure. Nobody can match him. Stuff. Yeah, that's for sure. He's yeah. the best athlete. And let me tell you something. Some of the guys, they had to pump up. By the way, I'm just lighting a cigarette. Um, you can they smoke what you want up. on here. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, nephew. <laughs> um, <laughs> he, uh... Everybody else was pumping weights and running and, you know, trying to get themselves, their body, the guys to pump their bodies up. Yeah. Uh, Sheldon was walking around eating Twizzlers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, walking around just as fine. <laughs> Not an ounce of fat on him nowhere. And he can jump. And I'm just like looking at him like, damn. That's why I was upset when he, because he didn't have any. My feelings were he should have wanted more. Mm. I wanted to get the belt. I wanted him to be where The Rock and John Cena are. Yeah. You know, he could have been some kind of, some kind of in a a movie or something. Right. You know, like even the, what's his name that did the horror movie, Kane? I mean, he could have done any. I wanted, what I wanted from him is to take it to the next level. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That Cisco hair went out of that. style, though. That's what happened. <laughs> I forgot he had that Cisco hair, the blonde yeah, hair. Yeah, that blonde hair. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's, when I saw the blonde hair car. and the girls, I went, oh, God, this is the wrong direction. <laughs> this is the wrong direction for him. Because I think the mama boy thing was a good thing. Because when he went to England to WrestleMania, they were screaming when they saw him. They were clapping. Where's your mama? Clap, clap. <laughs> they were chanting. They wanted to see his mama. And see that right there kind of pissed him off, I think. Yeah. 
because if it, 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 I think it did. Yeah. yeah. Because you, wanted- you can't get mad at me because yeah. my character, my character is silly. My character is, he goes, well, I think you should calm down a little bit. I go, mamas don't calm down. Yeah. I'm pushing you to greatness. He didn't get the, we could have been on there forever. Yeah, because as much as you were getting over it, he would have got over it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because as much as you were getting over it, it would have got him over even more. I mean, you know, the, the, yeah. the character of, I was, I have never thought I would be in a wrestling magazine so soon. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And and I don't think that's ever happened where one of the characters got in a wrestling magazine so soon. And Sheldon, Sheldon should have really dug it and say, you know, we could have had so many different storylines. Like, Mama, she says she's pregnant. Well, let me look at her. I don't know. <laughs> you know, any. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I wanted to write this. I told him, I said, let, I'm going to write a storyline. And he goes, that's a conflict of interest. No, it's not. It's enhancing our brand. That's what I thought. But yeah. he didn't think that. He didn't think that. He didn't. And he got mad at me, kind of sort of, because I said he had a slave mind. But that's not, that's just me, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Sometimes shit happens, you know. But um, I would, I would gladly go back to WWE. I would love it, but now with all social distancing and shit, yeah. it's hard to kick somebody ass with six feet of distance from you. <laughs> you use words. You gotta use your words. You traveling, trifling motherfucker. <laughs> you know, just kind of shit. Oh. I don't know. I would love to go back to WWE Raw. I would love to. Yeah. It was an experience, and it was a lot of fun. A, a lot of fun. I wanted. I wanted uh, Vince McMahon to be Shelton's ba- daddy. <laughs> That would have been, been great. That would have been great. Could you see oh, yeah. Sheldon going, Daddy? <laughs> see, because then that's, that could even lead into him. That shit would have been. Look at that tattoo. What is you doing? <laughs> see, this is what happens when we don't wear our underwear. <laughs> 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 we need to wear our, our jammies. <laughs> he put on pajamas when he go to bed. Get the hell out of here. He walk around raw dog and then wearing pajamas <laughs> with the ninja turtles on them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. He's cute oh. though. He is so cute. <laughs> What, is there anything else, my nephew? Y'all are such handsome young men. Where were you when I was Thank young? You. <laughs> no. Watching wrestling? Watching wrestling. Because <laughs> you, you couldn't date? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now, you know what? Wrestling is a lot of fun, and I, know I, can, I can understand I'm on my podcast. <laughs> my grandson is talking to me see he make me want to throw a rock at his monkey ass he gonna make me hurt him somebody gonna get fucked up today <laughs> fucking with me don't mess with me I, I, you said I could say that yes. but anyway yeah. uh, I don't cuss all the time you guys it's just that I'm having one of the oh shut up <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry Dizzle <laughs> Dizzle, don't look at me like that. Don't do that. That's not nice. Bye-bye. See if I ever bring you a bottle of Hennessy Pure. See if I ever do that okay, for you. All right. My whoa, bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have one bottle of Hennessy Pure in this cabinet, and I am not giving it up. <laughs> I can't wait to go back on the ship. Thank you. Yeah. What, um... I can't wait... Go ahead. What what cruise ships were you on again? So the so the listeners, whenever they go on a cruise, they know which ones to look for. I work for Carnival Cruise Line. Okay. And okay. I usually go on the Dream, the Magic. I'm eating French fries now. <laughs> the Magic, the Victory. 
um, the inspiration, which goes out of Long Beach. Right now, we will not be back on schedule until I think September. Okay. All right. And I'm on all the ships. So you can pick one and ask me. Try the Carnival fan page and say yeah. where's Steve Vidal, and they'll and I'll tell you where I'm at. I'm I miss being on the cruise ship. I miss it a yeah. lot. I miss the fans. I miss um. I miss making people laugh. I miss it the most. Yeah, and seeing people that are my friends. I miss the crew members. I miss all of that. Yeah. Uh, I, just, so, I, I can only imagine how tough it is for, for comedians right now. But, I mean, Wodies, dozens. I mean... And dozens. Yeah. Let us, let us know, does my Aunt Thea need her own podcast? Oh, oh absolutely. Lord. <laughs> he wants me to get a podcast so bad. I, I, would, I would love, love it. To yeah. do that. We got to we got to get I you. Talk, what do you want me to talk about? I want you to talk about the show. How was all that? That's what I want to hear about. The behind <laughs> the scenes of the of the show. Man, let me tell you something. We we will literally be here all night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've already done so much stuff already. I want to do I want to do the podcast, but I want to talk about crazy shit. I want to talk about what goes on the I mean, I can talk about everything. We, we parenting, yeah. being in love, not being in love. Well, Thought you was in love, but you wasn't love. Yeah, I mean, you you just came on here. We didn't. We I didn't give you any kind of rundown of what we were going to talk about on here. So this past thirty minutes, you know, you kind of just been going off. So you could easily just do that on your podcast. On the yeah. show, for exactly. And people will I've been listen. entertained. Yeah. yeah. You changed your hat again? What is wrong with you? <laughs> are you out of your mind? What is go- Where are you going, Campfire Girl? <laughs> Why did you change your hat? You had a baseball cap on a minute ago. And why Now you got whatever kind of hat that is. Like you going to Afghanistan. What kind of hat you got on? It's, it's an Under Armour. It's a safari hat. Well, what made you change it? I, I, because I, I, I don't know. It's a nervous twitch of mine. John, baby, <laughs> baby. See, this is why we wear underwear. <laughs> so that we don't do random shit and don't make no sense. <laughs> now, the next time you get mad at your wife for changing her high heels, you remember you sitting in the car changing your fucking ass. <laughs> Crazy shit. <laughs> he just, I mean, did y'all notice he changed his fucking hat? Yeah, yeah. Does he do that often? John? Yes, I do it. I, 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 I have you OCD? changed his mid-set. I, I have costume changes mid set, like you know. So halfway through the set, I change my hat a couple times. Okay, long as you don't put a bikini on, we good. No, no. But if I did, I'd do it. She was out of me. If I did, I'd wear the sable handprints on my teeth. <laughs> oh, You're so silly. That's one of the silliest men I've ever met. This is the podcast, Anthea. This is yeah. what we do. Yeah. You get on the podcast and talk crazy shit. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, the guy, the guy with the four kids, he hiding in the car because he don't want to go in there. Yeah. <laughs> and beware nah, if they, they come out and go, what you doing, now. daddy? Nah, they got to be asleep now. <laughs> you hope they sleep. They ain't got to be exactly. sleep. <laughs> they ain't got to be sleep. You just exactly. hope they sleep. <laughs> They're like crack addicts. They'll wake up out of no reason for no reason at all. I thought I heard somebody having a good time. Yeah, talking about they're thirsty or something. Thirsty. I'm, can I have some water? Hell no. Drink out the bathroom sink. Sometimes you're daddy. Me and, me and my husband, my ex husband, we used to lay in the bed. And the kids be called, Dad, Mommy. I lay like I didn't hear them. We both would just act like we didn't hear the children crying. We just <laughs> lay there. It's your turn. Who's going to do it? 
We playing paper, yep. rock, scissors. <laughs> yep. You know, because it's hard. It's hard to be a parent. But I wouldn't trade it for nothing in the world. Yeah. Yep. So my dog does the same thing. He goes to the side of the bed and starts screaming, right? I got a dog that screams. He's like, ah! right? If he wants to go outside. <laughs> and uh, my wife and I, we have this game we, we just call Not It. So I'll call not it, and that means that she has to go take him outside. You know what that's called? You the man of the house. Or, <laughs> you or she can go out there and say, my love. Just that opportunity is I do. No, no. The dog cries and screams, you're the man of the house. <laughs> you go out, you get the dog, and you go out in the backyard. Don't worry about it, my love. I'll take care of it. That's what you do. <laughs> you know what? Tony I'll up. do that tonight. I'll do that tonight. You lying. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a liar. You're not going to do it. <laughs> uh, what do you want to ask me? Don't look at me like that, Dizzle. I, I'm not I looking at you in any, any kind of way. Dizzle. <laughs> that is so funny. Who knew that my little nephew Adrian would grow up to be a Dizzle? Who knew? Who the fuck knew? I did. Does Monique know you a Dizzle? <laughs> um, you know I do not know. I, 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 you I didn't tell her. her. Don't you lie. You didn't tell her. <laughs> you didn't tell your daddy that you was a Dizzle, <laughs> did you? Uh, no, I did not. I did not inform them <laughs> oh, when I became a Dizzle. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell them. I ain't gonna tell them. I want them to see the look on their face when they find out. <laughs> That's not a bad thing that you're a Dizzle. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh. I was a Eustace Chocolate Kiss. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can be a dizzle if you want to, baby. <laughs> but you ain't gonna tell nobody that you's a dizzle. Dizzle, dizzle. It's not very sexy, but it's dizzle. <laughs> oh, dizzle. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. no. Well, Money I guess I... B. What up? How old are you? 38. How many children you got? Three daughters. <laughs> you know why? Why? You know why? <laughs> got a gun, don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. A few of them. Remember that. Remember that. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend in a club in Chattanooga, Tennessee. His name is Michael L. Fon. He owned a club, comedy club there. And he was a big whore. <laughs> and his wife had had a, a, a son and a daughter. The daughter was the oldest. Well, his daughter's a teenager. He was just talking about he was concerned. I said, what you concerned about? You was a big hoe. <laughs> you was a big hoe. You cheated on your wife and everything. You was a big hoe. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, you was. What you scared? Your daughter gonna suck somebody dick? What what what's the problem? What's the problem? <laughs> Never book me again. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Thea, he kept saying, Thea, don't say that. I go, yes, your daughter is. She's going to suck someone's dick. Know that. <laughs> Write it down. Embrace it. And then I went like this. You know, I just did that because I wanted to egg him on. That's enough. <laughs> he was sensitive. <laughs> Never book me again. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sometimes I do shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'm cool. I'm the coolest one in my family. I, no, I can attest I, to that. Yeah, no, you, huh? I said I can attest I to that. I, I think I'm the coolest one out of all my sisters. Next, Giovanni's next. Monique, not so much. <laughs> that is a church lady right there. That's the church wait, lady. Wait, wait. Monique is Dizzle's mom, correct? Correct, yeah. Is Dizzle's mom. Yeah. She's my sister. Okay. 
<laughs> Hence, I am his aunt. <laughs> yeah. I, I love, think that's how families work. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Who let the cat in here? Nico, what you doing in here? I'm sorry. I just talked to my cat out of nowhere. Money <laughs> B, how long have you been married? Ooh, 10 years. Ooh, you're a grown up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> you hiding in your office so them girls don't come in there, aren't you? Uh, ain't, ain't no hiding in this house. <laughs> they gonna find you. you. Yeah, they find me. Yeah, they know where don't I'm feel, at. Don't feel don't feel bad. I I have four, and um, and uh, you think that when you have these children, that you'll have your things and they'll have their things, but your things become their things. <laughs> they should be just about now wearing your t shirt. Um, oh, yeah. your boxers, like that's a good idea. And um, <laughs> ch- you know what? Children just claim your stuff. <laughs> I, I, I can't go upstairs because my knees are bad. My daughter got my shoes, um, <laughs> my t-shirts that I hang out in. My grandchildren is wearing my shit now, um, putting their feet in my shit. I just, if I, I thought once they were gone, my children were gone. I would have everything to myself, but that's not what happens. <laughs> they have children, and them motherfuckers think your shit is their shit, too. <laughs> they do. My grandchildren been here for a month. <laughs> Somebody gonna get shot. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it might be me. I don't know, because they, they plotting on me. I, <laughs> and, and, no. and then, finish her. Before they do it, before they do it, finish they say, her. Finish her, yep. Yeah. Because <laughs> I've already taught them to say, I feared for my safety on the Lifetime channel. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's like when you have children, nothing is ever yours by yourself. It's never nothing yours by yourself. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You just be like, how come I can't wear my shirt though? It, oh, don't! And then you, if, you, if you have wives, they always says you're making a mountain out of a molehill. No, the fuck, I'm not. I don't want you in my shit. What that means that's what it means. If you have sons, they'll spray your cologne. Dad, dad, dad. <laughs> I got a girlfriend. Get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> I've seen my son's girlfriends. <laughs> I've seen them, and I just go, really? Really? <laughs> Please don't let love be involved. <laughs> you, you laughing now, but you wait and see. Oh. You have girls, you have problems. You have girls, you have problems. That's what you have. You have boys, you just have knuckleheads. They don't know. They're, they'll walk in a circle and think it's fun. That's the best thing about a boy. <laughs> you give them a rock and some dirt and, and a shovel, and they go outside and play. Girls, not so much. And they're always on the phone on this TikTok thing. I don't understand that. <laughs> How do you make a TikTok video? Uh, you do download it. the app. Uh, yeah. download I got the app. app. I just don't know how to TikTok something. No, neither do neither do any of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Don't>. We- <laughs> Are you all internet savvy? Um. For the Somewhat. most part, until <laughs> yeah. until this new yeah. shit started coming out, until, yeah, right. until TikTok and started become coming popular. Yeah, now, yes, I am. I am very internet savvy. I can TikTok. Um, uh, I don't have a TikTok, but I've I've created a video. Uh, yes, I, I I am very internet savvy. My granddaughter put TikTok on here. I didn't know I had a I have a TikTok. I didn't know how I got it. She put it on here. I think that's a great platform for you. TikTok. Mm-hmm. I don't know no songs. It's the hottest thing right now. It doesn't have to be songs. You can just walk around scaring people. My 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 roommate jumped out and scared the piss out of me. Uh, this morning I was hungover and I almost yacked on him. Just almost threw up on him. I was, I was rough. It was rough. What was you drinking? I I jumped on a vodka train last night. Oh, the vodka train. Mm-hmm. Straight? <laughs> uh, no, I drink vodka water and then uh, some of that Mio, that little water. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thing, the little, it's like concentrated juice and you squeeze it in there. Just uh, 
because uh, I didn't wake up with too much of a hangover, but I my stomach was not okay. Yeah. Did you eat? Uh, that that's in lies the problem. I ate too many uh, bacon wrapped jalapenos with cream cheese in the middle. Oh shit! Oh. Yeah, no, I jumped. Yeah, the, yeah, oh, that'll that do my it. Favorite. Yeah. Oh man, you could have got the booty shoots. Think about it. <laughs> uh, been dealing with that all day. Sitting <laughs> oh. <laughs> around. You think I'm part of the fart? That's what I was about to say. I think we got the title of this episode. There's the title. Right <laughs> Booty shoots. Booty <laughs> I mean, really, if you're gonna drink like that, <laughs> you gotta be. You know what your grandmother used to do? Drink a milkshake. She told me that. She told. That's a yeah. She told me that. That's what she used to do before she, she drink drank. a lot. She drink a big milkshake and drink all the guys' beer. They trying to get her drunk so they can have their way with her. She's just as sober as a judge. <laughs> <laughs> but she is happy because she got free beer. Yep. The good old days. Yep. I, my mother. I met my mother's old boyfriend, and I was smoking a square. And he said, "You know what?" I used to date your mama and I could never get her to smoke no weed. And I just looked at him like, okay, (laughs) you want me to do with that information? (laughs) (laughs) But I think that I know, I don't, I I know none of you guys partake in that. Never. (laughs) Never. Okay, I John. Do. Uh, I'm not, I was about to say, I was about to say, I'm EJ, I know you better smoker. speak up. I'm a <laughs> like, you know, I'm a Christian. I don't I do. do that. I'm a yeah. frequent smoker. Everybody knows I smoke. I've actually But you know what? Don't you feel better? When you yeah. smoke, you feel better. I don't like Always. to drink. Like people like when you to drink, you got that nasty taste in your mouth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People like to go home and have a beer. I like to go home and have a nice little sweet. I'm good. Yeah, I love that. It's so so much more. I like that because you feel better about yourself. (laughs) I feel great great after, you know, a fifth of vodka. (laughs) No, you don't. Not not the the next day, not so much. (laughs) Not the next day, not so much. But that night? See, I'm going to wake up the next day. Feeling great, <laughs> feeling the same exactly. way I felt when I fell asleep. <laughs> Booty shoots free. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on if you go to Taco Bell and get Taco Bell. <laughs> now, let me tell you something. You get you some fried chicken. And that that is some bread. When we was young, they used to call it light bread. Drink and eat that. And, and take two aspirins, you'd be good in the morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you talking to somebody who used to drink 151 and Kool-Aid. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, they, thanks for the hangover advice. Yeah. Well, the reason why I can give you that advice, I don't know why you didn't go to Whataburger and get you something to eat <laughs> before you went home. Your uh, belly would have been full. We cooked fajitas last night, so I, there was plenty of food. But you just had the booty shoot food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> booty shoots. That makes you attractive <laughs> to people, too. <laughs> Don't know about it. <laughs> you gonna get no blowjob, buddy. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> You throwing away all the passion. (laughs) (laughs) And then your girlfriend goes, okay, you're not going to believe this. Tiffany, I was trying to give him a blowjob, right? Be nice to him. (laughs) He almost shit on me. He had the booty (laughs) shoots. (laughs) You know what? (laughs) You fucked up the whole groove. Booty shoots. I'm just telling you what I know. I, I know some stuff. Because I used to be party central. And even when I wasn't really like party, party central, I always had liquor. And Adrian and my son always stole it. I mean, 
Okay, I, I, I will refute that. <laughs> that was way back when, right? That was that was way back when. That was way back when. Yeah. <laughs> Anthea. Was that the what you gonna do with this gray goose? What you gonna do with this gray goose? <laughs> I was gonna drink it. <laughs> what was you gonna do with it? <laughs> you and Sergio talking about what you need to do. <laughs> that's so fucked up. They don't tell me what I need to do. So what you need to do is give us that crown black. <laughs> and my son will say, give me $20. So, you know, it was, I'm, I, I have aided and abetted in young people drinking. I guess I get that from my Aunt Bernice. <laughs> Smoking weed. Because I just don't see what the, I don't even understand why Texas won't make it legal. You can exactly. tax it. Yeah. Oh, oh. They shouldn't be too you far behind. It. Huh? I said they shouldn't be too far behind everybody else. Oh my God, we are always too far behind. Well, you know, look, you got a point. Let, let, you know what? You can't stop it. You can't stop it. It's gonna get into the country. It gets into the country all the time. So no. why not make it legal? It takes all the oomph out of it. It's not as much fun for drug dealers when it's legal. No. And you can tax it. Go to dispensary. You know, and maybe a cop could use a little smoky smoke. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Instead of trying to beat up somebody, they go, what you got in that bag? <laughs> okay, look. Exactly. Give I me that burger and we'll call it even. <laughs> okay, I quit said, speeding, damn it. And I give me that double meat, snapper, double cheese. Uh, <laughs> I had said on my snap a long time ago, like, I'm not trying to be, like, 67 years old, still going to a trap house trying to get some weed, like... <laughs> I can't be doing that. I know. I am 60 years old. <laughs> Trust me. Oh. <laughs> I am 63. I'm so used to being able. I lived in L.A. for a long time. I didn't want to move for a long time until my mama got sick. And I'm like, damn, now I got to hunt this shit down. Like I'm fucking naked and afraid and shit. <laughs> like I'm in Wild Kingdom <laughs> on Survivor. Instead of the immunity idol, I'm looking for an ounce. You know, I just don't need that in my life. <laughs> what do you, I mean, to me, to me, to me, not to make marijuana legal is probably one of the silliest things Texas can do. And everybody that's old and 70 in the Congress and the Senate, they need to fucking get out so we can have some new blood and somebody that smoke weed. That's what we want in Texas. Somebody that just... Because somebody calm down and smoke a joint <laughs> and then we can talk. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, I ain't never had an argument and been high. But I've had an argument and been drunk. I, 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 I think, that, I think that goes hand in hand. I, don't, you, I, don't, I think you, uh, like, I'm, I'm a very argumentative person. Shocker for the dozen. <laughs> dozen yeah. Stuff. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm a very argumentative person. So, uh, yeah, you get me drunk, it, it, it takes it up to a whole new level. That's all I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> Is debate? Uh, it's probably just, I, I, I just, uh, yeah, I want to talk shit and uh, fuck, pretty much. That's, and that's and me. fuck and yep. be right. Yep, that's me <laughs> drunk. Talk shit and fuck. And now, this is what you don't do with your, with your woman, no. Don't argue on Saturday night. Don't do that. Don't argue on Friday, Saturday, because she's not going to fuck you. Because you, what men don't get is when a woman is mad just because she was arguing and you thought it was over, it wasn't over. It wasn't over. Boy. Uh, you got, like got, a two day, got a two-day window period. Okay. <laughs> you, you can fight on Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, but on Friday and Saturday, you better be made up by then because there will be no having sex. There won't. You, ever, you know, really, man, I'm telling you, I might be wrong. If you say I'm wrong... I'll say, okay, but the average woman and every woman is not, no woman is average, but I'm saying on the spectrum, if yeah. we have an argument with you, um, we ain't fucking, we're not fucking. I don't want you to touch me. In fact, I'm watching TV, I'm watching Snap to see if I can get some ideas. <laughs> just that bad. I'm just that bad. 
<laughs> your uncle used to say, Tia, you're not going to give me sex. I go, no, no, Bill. I'm mad. How long you going to be mad? <laughs> as long as you take you to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> say you're sorry and be done with it. <laughs> Don't fight a fight you can't win. Pick your battles. There's a time to put your foot down and it's a time to, you know, just put your house shoes on and just keep on going. But sometimes you got to put that foot down and say, and that's what I said. That's what I meant. And when we go to bed tonight, we fucking. So there. <laughs> be defiant. <laughs> and see where that gets you. <laughs> So, the, so we got hangover advice, relationship advice, all all in all in an hour. Yeah, we got it all. I'm pretty sure we this needs to be a podcast. Yeah. There you go. You think? Yep. We gotta, Mama we gotta Benjamin, get you just come on my podcast nice any day. You're just saying it to be nice to me. No, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed this. I enjoyed meeting you too. If, if, uh, who let the goddamn cat in here? <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, no, you laughing. My cat gets in the bathtub for some reason. He liked the bathtub. I don't know what's in it. He just lays in the bathtub. He just lays there like it ain't shit. But he probably <laughs> smells his burger. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would love to. I, when I come back on, sit down, Nico. When when I um. Wait, is Nico a grandson or is Nico the cat? Nico's my cat. Okay, all right, all right. He smells food. That's what that is. I'm looking at him. See, there he is. There he is. <laughs> so not that you give a fuck. Your grandmother couldn't stand cats. <clears throat> but you know what? When I, whenever I do do my show again, I would like to meet each and every one of you guys. Yeah, we'll have to make it happen. Man, I love it. Yep. I would love to do a show. I would love to. I would love to be back on stage because I got a couple of things I need to say. Just yeah. a couple, mm-hmm. a just couple, a couple. Of little things. What you say? I said just a couple. Just, just a, couple. a couple. And I mean, it's for it's for young men. I talk to young men. You guys are young, and um, I don't want you, you know, to be folly to women. I want you to be on board. Look at him and take his eyes. Go, that is really weird. Don't do that with that hat on because you remind me of this thing I saw on ID channel. Quit it. <laughs> I need to see you in the daylight. <laughs> in the daylight, motherfucker. In the daylight. <laughs> Walking around with no draws on. What you, doing? you know what? Let me tell you something, John. You need to wear draws. You know why? Because if you get drunk, and had the booty shoots, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> you laughing, you laughing. When you laughing, money be am I telling the truth? Let me tell you something. You and EJ you talk about something. Sometime as you get older, you in your 30s right now. The older just, you get, I, I'll be 31 next month. Sing. You're 30. Okay, thir- oh, you're so old. I could just kick you. Anyway, let me tell you something. As you get older, you need to be aware that sometimes a fart is not a fart. <laughs> a fart can be a booty shoot. And John, you need to wear your drawers because if you're going to get drunk, put some drawers on. Because you might have the booty shoes because you don't know how to drink just one drink. You want to drink a fifth. So I need for you to be careful and you have your due diligence because I don't want you to get the booty shoots. That's a bad thing. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, man. Words of advice from Mama <laughs> Benjamin. He's going to go, go in his house and go, booty shoots? What the hell? <laughs> Hon, did you get the booty shoot? You the worst thing the worst thing for a woman it's for her man to hear her shitting. It's the worst thing. It's the worst thing. <laughs> Money be you been married a long time. So, you know, she goes, you know, it's different. I, I was married to, to, Ed, to Dizzle's uncle for two years before I went to the bathroom. I would pee, but I wouldn't do nothing else. No, I my wife still work. is not taking a shit in front of me. 
My yeah. wife has still not taken a shit in front of me. Wow. And she won't either. No, <laughs> no, no. no, no. We, wow. We've been together for seven years, or almost seven years, and uh, I've never seen her shit. <laughs> well, let me tell you, that's, that's over after the baby thing. comes. <laughs> after the baby <laughs> comes, that's, that's over, bro. <laughs> mm-hmm. Have you seen your wife, EJ? Yeah. She don't give a fuck, EJ. No, nope, she don't give nope. a fuck. We four kids in, eleven years later. It, yeah, it's. He's like, man, that, please. I just yeah. came in here. I'm shitting just to have some peace. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be by up. myself. Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> EJ going in. I just want to be with you. <laughs> Can I shit first? No, I just want to stay with you. <laughs> you might get out the mood. No, just really. <laughs> Really? <laughs> oh, um, it's just, it's an amazing thing. That's what love will do for you. And Adrian, I mean, Dizzle, one day I want you to get married. Okay. I'll make and it a life more goal babies. Now. And have more babies. <laughs> yeah. I want I, some more babies. That's a, that's a whole nother discussion that... <laughs> I'm not getting into right now. <laughs> I don't know who listening. I don't need that stuff. I don't need that on me. It's, it's nothing to be afraid of. It's yes, a be- marriage is a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. I love weddings. I love weddings. That's all, and that's all she wants. She just and then you just want a wedding. That's all. You just want a party. <laughs> yeah. Up. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Not a damn thing. And some cake. And, and some, some cake. cake. Yeah. <laughs> and some champagne. champagne. Yeah, there we go. Um, some Give champagne. The champagne. Give me the dancing. Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. That's what I want. I mean. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I I don't even have to like her. I mean, you know, I mean, well, I like her because you because she makes you happy. I'll like her, but if she pick a wrong cake, you know, not so much, not so much. You know? <laughs> don't be coming up with no 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 funny faked up hemostat cake. Uh uh-uh, uh, no, I want some real jalapasca cake. Ah, uh, no more jalapascas, <laughs> Anthea. Yeah, no more jalapascas. Jalapascas shut down. Well, who gonna be jalapasca then? Nobody. Who's the best bakery in town? Who knows? Don't nobody uh, know. Sweet as can be. Sweet oh, okay. as can be. I never heard of uh, him. Shout out to him. Uh, her name is Julie McLennan. She actually used to be my babysitter growing up. Well, there really? Julie, <laughs> yeah, she was Julie Gardner back in the day. And uh, the gar- there was four Gardner girls. The one was my age. And then there was three other older ones. So they pretty much just uh, they watched the Jameson boys. I have two little brothers, so they watched the Jameson Boys uh, for about a good five-year run. Oh, it's the sweetest can be. Oh, my goodness. Yep. Oh, my goodness, because, you know, we always, Halapasca was the go-to. You know, they, their bakery was the shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, even the one the one that was far out by Linden Road, yep. or I think it was. Um, was that Bloomington Highway, right? Yeah, Bloomington Highway. That's where yeah. it was. I would go yep. out there, and then the one that was in town. And I now you're telling me both of them are closed. Yes. Yep. But they have a cookbook on sale. Oh wait, no, the the pre orders just left. But uh, they're gonna have a cookbook. The Halapasas cookbooks on sale for twenty five dollars. Oh damn! I want one. Another, another plug. We're just plugging everything. Mm, today. Yeah, they're gonna have to come up off some bread. Yeah, yeah, for real. Y'all gonna yeah. have to come I up know. Some for that, man. Because I mean, I love Halapasca. I like. I there's like nothing cake. better. There are no, but there. But you just can't. But there's been in my lifetime. In my lifetime, there has never been a cake to match Halapasca. No. I mean, I've been. And I lived in L.A. and I've had all kinds of fancy bakers, but not like at home. Not like at home. So I don't care what you say. Victoria ain't the most fun place to go to, but it's still home. They done took Moo Moo's chicken and and what happened to the Texas? That used to be the lick. Y'all don't know nothing about that. When I was in the the Texas drive-in. Yeah, the Texas drive-in. Oh, baby. That's gone, too. Everything that's good is gone. We used to have so much fun. 
my hairline all the time. I say that about my terrible hairline all the time. <laughs> What's good <laughs> is gone. Well, you know they got that thing you can put on your that cap that has them um, laser rays that mm-hmm. will make your hair grow. You gonna buy that? No. <laughs> but you know what? Your head is bald. It's sexy. Yeah, that's what I say. It's very sexy. I don't need a whole lot of hair, but I, <laughs> as long as it's on the right spots, that's all I care about. <laughs> that that might have been a little bit too much information right there. I, I don't want this little think about me being hoish. I don't want him to think that. That's very I was, scary. I was about to say, all right, that's a that's a good stopping point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's be like a three-hour podcast. <laughs> yeah. This is fantastic. The life and love of the feel of it all. No, anyway. <laughs> you don't even want to know that shit. It'll scare you. My life oh, will scare man. you. Anyway, you guys are fantastic. <laughs> Thank and Dizzle, Thank I'm you. so proud of you. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. I I, I appreciate it a lot. Me I know too. You, that was a great surprise. I didn't yeah. even know about yeah. it. That was great. Yeah. I knew as soon as we were doing this episode, I had to get I had to get you on here for the for the boys, man. Oh my goodness. You just they they weren't that surprised. No, I was totally surprised. I, I had no idea. And I'm a big fan. Like I, I was totally surprised. That was great. That was great. Oh, well, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here in my bedroom. <laughs> so, okay, so um before we get out of here, so you said the carnival cruises are starting back up in September? It should be September. Okay. All right, cool. And then we're getting uh, we're getting the podcast set up for you, correct? Yes, we are. All right, good. Good. Say that one more time. I couldn't hear. While I eat a water burger. I will speak incessantly <laughs> as I eat a water burger. Anyway. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're gonna right. do a podcast. We don't know what we're gonna call it, but anyway, we'll, we'll figure something out. Booty we'll shoes. Booty <laughs> shoes. <Booty shoes. laughs> <laughs> Next time I see y'all, y'all gonna have t-shirts going booty shoes. Yeah, like, Nobody yeah, will know what shirt. it means except us. <laughs> which, which which brings me to my outro sweet shirt Saturday. So. There you go, Money B. Sweet shirt yes, Saturday. Sir. That's which the I'm next t-shirt. Right. Huh? <laughs> Next T-shirt, booty shoots. Booty shoots, baby. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. EJ, Derek, y'all got anything before we get out of here? Uh, no, nah, man, that was that was a great episode. I was thanks yeah. for having me on. Uh, appreciate you bringing Thea in. Uh, that was great. It was a good episode, man. It's fun. Don't forget, vote for Stacey Keebler. Vote for Stacey Keebler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whoever that is. Okay. <laughs> I think it is in Victoria, so okay. Okay, cool. But, uh, hey, as always, you give us the facts and we'll tell you why you're wrong. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Um, oh, and, then, and then for my deal, remember to go and vote on Instagram, all right? It'll be on the Way Back Win podcast and the Let Me Tell You Why You're Wrong podcast. And we'll combine those votes for each girl or, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we'll give results week by week. Um, yeah. Yeah. Wodies. Wodies are the names of our fans, Anthea. Okay. And then you got the dozens for the other podcast. Wodies and dozens. <laughs> Wodies and dozens, man. Thank y'all for, for joining joining us this episode. We appreciate all the support that y'all give us. And um, yeah, that's it. You tuned into the Way Back Win podcast, a reflection upon the golden era, our golden era. We'll holler at y'all. Deuces. Deuces. Bye. Bye.